Yes, sir. What's going on? We are back with another episode. Everyone hates Tesla. Today, guys, we're going to be talking about Tesla supercomputer and how it's going to battle NVIDIA for the top, the T-O-P, the top G, or should we say the top C, the top computer, right? So anyways, is what Tesla is doing similar to what NVIDIA is doing? I don't know. We're going to hop into this video. Actually, I do know, but come on. Let's get into the video and actually see what's going on here. Shout outs fair use and much respects to tesla stock news go ahead and give them a like subscribe and follow them let's jump right into this video i'm excited to figure out how they're going to surpass nvidia interesting uh it's i think it's going to be a really significant uh component of what tesla does if things work out the way tesla hopes they do in the way that i hope they do i'm personally i'm really interested in the stuff that andre presented the architectural stuff a lot of the simulation stuff is really interesting and Dojo is a very meaningfully different way of approaching the problem of training neural networks. So if, if what Tesla was trying to do was just basically out NVIDIA NVIDIA, or you know, essentially doing exactly what somebody else was doing, then yeah, it's a long road to hoe. You know, does the, the people who have been working in this space who have their particular architectural niches staked out. Welcome back, fellow enthusiasts. Now, hold on, let's pause just before the guy gets into the video. This is very interesting because when we actually have a conversation about Dojo and what they're doing with their neural network versus what NVIDIA is doing, most people don't even know that there is a Dojo. What is a Dojo? Who, what, when, where, why, and how? And this is very interesting because how could you even compare with NVIDIA or how could you even make an analysis on Tesla if you don't know about their dojo? Come on, man. You guys are going to have to get your mojo right in order to know about dojo. And what Tesla is attempting to build out is always different from what the competitors are seeking to do. Of course, what they're focused on is different from what NVIDIA might be focusing on. LLM, large language models, and etc. we might be focusing on real-world applicable artificial intelligence. Now, I know NVIDIA also is building out a platform and a service and actual the hardware for that, but in essence, what Tesla is doing specifically is different. Let's continue. Yes, to another captivating episode of Tesla Stock News. Today, we're embarking on a deep dive into the captivating world of artificial intelligence as we explore the battleground between two tech titans, NVIDIA and Tesla's Dojo. We are thrilled to be your guide on this exhilarating journey through the cutting edge innovations and strategic maneuvers shaping the future of AI computation. In this episode, we'll unravel the complexities of neural network hardware, examining the state of the art technologies driving NVIDIA's dominance and Tesla's ambitious foray into the arena with Dojo. From inference to training, from data centers to supercomputers, every move carries profound implications for the future of AI and the companies vying for supremacy in this rapidly evolving landscape. So grab your favorite beverage, settle in, and prepare to embark on an exhilarating journey into the world of AI as we explore NVIDIA versus Tesla's Dojo. But first, make sure to hit those like. And guys, nothing wrong with actual competition, okay? So let's not get it twisted to say we hate NVIDIA over here. We don't. It's very interesting. If NVIDIA is going to actually pave the way for a couple of things, that's good for us, right? Let's research and development, right? We can learn from their accomplishments and their milestones. And so that allows us to utilize our technology, which is Dojo, to actually offer a great product and a service too. So competition, friendly competition is not bad at all. And of course, they're way more further than us. And most people say, oh, well, you're going to lose because NVIDIA is actually ahead of you, ahead of the game. They're unbeatable. Look, nobody's unbeatable, okay? Nobody thought that open AI that created chat GPT would beat Google, the king of data, the king of compute, would beat them. I mean, come on, Google has the most data when it comes to LOMs. But net net, nobody really thought that some company started by Elon and some goofy guys, shout outs to Sam, would actually be able to compete with the all time Goliath of the game, which was Google and any other company, Oracle and et cetera. They were also attempting to build out that type of model. They were attempting to actually have a good language model, but Chat GPT with good engineers and a good team and somebody amazing like Elon. <laughs> We're able to accomplish a lot of great things, and most people wouldn't have thought it would have been them. So, again, just because someone's ahead of the race doesn't mean that they're going to finish the battle, the war in first place. They might have won a couple of battles, but the war is not over. Like and subscribe buttons. Now, let us get started. James Duma, an expert in the field, broadens the scope to encompass data centers, supercomputers, and training applications. According to sources he's consulted, over half of Tesla's current training capacity relies on NVIDIA technology. This includes the known 10,000 H100S and additional undisclosed units. Uh -huh.
potential deployment dwarfs the capabilities of Dojo, Tesla's proprietary system. Despite NVIDIA's forthcoming H200 and continuous advancements in data center capabilities, there's a lingering question. Where does Dojo stand in comparison? Is it a true competitor or merely an insurance policy for Tesla? James sees Dojo primarily as an insurance policy, safeguarding Tesla's dependency on compute technology. With the current supply shortages of GPUs, relying solely on external vendors could pose risks. Tesla's relative silence on Dojo might stem from their desire to maintain a positive relationship with NVIDIA, given the latter's significant market presence and high valuation. However, all right, so yeah, you got to play your cards close to your hand, right? You don't want to get your supply a little bit angry because they think that they're going to have competition. They're going to actually start putting you in the back of the line when it comes down to purchasing products. So Tesla's, you know, not actually going to publish a lot of information about Dojo because they're just not going to say, hey, look, we're competing against you, NVIDIA. Now, can we buy some of your chips in the meantime? However, James notes, such dominance often hinges on monopolistic tendencies, potentially affecting innovation and competition. While some may view Tesla as a potential rival to NVIDIA in the data center arena, James believes this perspective oversimplifies the situation. Building a comprehensive data center infrastructure, like NVIDIA's, requires substantial time, resources, and expertise. It's not a venture one can undertake overnight. Despite Dojo's promising architecture for neural networks, surpassing GPUs fundamentally, James remains skeptical about Tesla's immediate prospects in directly challenging NVIDIA's dominance. Tesla's current priorities and the complexity of the data center market suggest that such competition isn't viable in the short term. Nonetheless, James Duma, with his keen eye for technological innovation, wholeheartedly acknowledges the boundless potential harbored within Dojo. To him, Dojo transcends mere hardware. It embodies a paradigm shift in neural network architecture, poised to revolutionize the very essence of AI computation. Unlike yeah, and I think that's very big. Un unlike, I'm going to let him continue. Unlike who? Traditional GPUs, Dojo boasts a robust and specialized architecture meticulously crafted to tackle the intricate demands of neural networks with unparalleled efficiency. And see, that's what one of the things that Elon does well. When it comes down to vertical integration, even just the car process and manufacturing a car, like Tesla's not into giga casting. They don't create the casting in the machine. Most auto companies didn't actually change certain processes in the manufacturing line because maybe that's not their expertise. But Tesla has this habit the skill right of constantly going into an uh, industry vertically integrating and even finding systems and processes to make the whole entire system more efficient and more effective right we manufacture batteries most car companies even when they do ev or even if they just do regular ice vehicles they just actually just get the parts from somewhere else right we create the power drive we create the actual batteries vertical integration now we build out batteries we're a battery manufacturer at a certain point we're going to actually be refining the actual materials and minerals for the actual battery so we build the overall architecture and dive into every single aspect in order to get the most efficiency effectiveness out of the system on the service so that's different and that's what tesla is going to bring to what we're talking about when we talked about gpus which we should name npus right neural processing units but let's continue James envisions Dojo as not just a competitor to NVIDIA, but a catalyst for transformative advancements within Tesla's ecosystem. While a direct head-to-head -head clash with NVIDIA may not be imminent, Dojo's presence as a cornerstone of Tesla's technological arsenal cannot be overstated. Its emergence signifies Tesla's commitment to innovation, propelling them into the forefront of AI research and development. Dojo symbolizes Tesla's bold vision for the future, a future where AI transcends boundaries, where innovation knows no bounds. Its significance reverberates far beyond the confines of traditional competition, heralding a new era of computational prowess and technological excellence. As James sees it, Dojo's role extends beyond the present moment. It represents a beacon of hope, a testament to humanity's insatiable quest for progress. Its capabilities could drive innovation and further advancements in the field of AI, positioning Tesla as a key player in shaping the future of neural net hardware. And that's a key player, guys. Neural net hardware and especially we're going to do the software side and that's just a key player that doesn't mean the player the only player maybe they won't pass nvidia in many ways but some ways they do but again a key player with other players like nvidia that makes perfect sense right and elon himself said that this might be a long shot but nevertheless it's a venture that tesla's also going to take it was a long shot for them to actually beat google of what they did when they did chat GPT, and then also with just auto manufacturers, but we are where we are now. And even when it comes down to rockets and SpaceX, right? Did you think that SpaceX was going to create better rockets than Boeing, General Dynamics? But they were against David and they slayed him or Goliath, Goliath. Navigating the realm of neural networks proved to be a complex journey with various approaches and objectives from inference to training and considerations like network size and energy efficiency. The landscape is intricate. A key challenge lies in the matrix operations fundamental to neural networks. 
GPUs prevalent in current operations excel in handling numerous small processors for these tasks, offering flexibility to adapt to changing network sizes. However, Dojo, with its focus on large matrices, presents a different paradigm. While optimized for speed in specific tasks, it requires rewriting existing software infrastructure tailored for GPU operations, a monumental task given the extensive existing ecosystem. This software- So a monumental task considering an actual existing ecosystem. And again, guys, this is why Tesla is always at the forefront when it comes down to innovation. Now you can actually go watch out the rest of the video, but we're trying to keep this video short. Now, that's just a little dive into it, right? But it doesn't mean we're going to surpass them for sure. It doesn't mean that we're going to win. It doesn't mean that we got the game on lock and Tesla's for sure, for sure going to beat them. I never said that. What I did say, though, is that we're interested in actually competing with the best and we have other things as options on the rise. One of those other things are, of course, having a good system to be able to function for the rest of the actual oh, competition. Real? Oh, man. I didn't want to actually hear that. I just wanted to play it in the background. So will Tesla actually surpass in the video? We're not quite sure, but are they throwing their hat in the ring? For sure they are. They always do. And it is a long shot. It might be a long shot, but it's very interesting to see where the future lies. Now, again, you have to dive deep into the company. You have to watch the videos. Please, guys, anytime available, dive into the technicalities of these services and products. Now, you don't have to be a computer genius. You don't have to be an artificial intelligence expert. But at the end of the day, you need to know a little bit more. And a lot of people didn't even know that Dojo was a product that actually underneath the umbrella of Tesla. They didn't even know what it was. They were like, what? Dojo? What? Who's fighting whom? So at the end of the day, instead of hating Tesla, maybe you should just do some more research. But maybe you won't. Who cares? At the end of the day, we all we got. Everyone hates Tesla. I see you guys on the next episode. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can guys can get the next video that's coming out. I'm going to be hitting you weekly all the time with these videos because everyone hates Tesla. See you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.